Here we are back on the hilltop with the herd. Been a couple of days. Been getting ready down below to bring them home for the winter. I don't know if you can see it or not, but we have a few little snow flurries up here this morning. Here was the big girl, yeah. Bigfoot. What's up there, Bigfoot? Started a video with her a few times before. Big girl. Oh, you got your winter coat on, don't you? She's ready. I think pretty much everybody is. I see the colts are down in the down in the ravine here, out of the wind, because it's quite cool this morning, that's for sure. Lark is up here having breakfast. You sure don't blame those guys for being down there. It's, uh, well, the last I looked it was 18 or 19, maybe. Maybe we're up to 20 degrees by now. Hey there, little girl. <laughs> but it's chilly. It is chilly. Now we're getting uh, we had really strong winds yesterday out of the northwest. So today we're getting uh, to push back out of the southeast. And they talked about wind today with this chance of snow that we have. I don't expect much snow. I don't really expect a lot of wind either. What's up, Thunder? <laughs> Yeah, they're not so used to me wearing coveralls and a stocking cap. Are oh, you? Yeah. I look funny, don't I? Do I look funny? Funny compared to what you've seen all summer. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. We've well, got a nice coat on you. So you stay warm. Yeah. So people around the area are looking at that little boy. He's going to be a good horror. One gentleman has some experience with that particular breed, and he says those horses have a great mind, and I would have to agree with him when it comes to Thunder there. He's just been great ever since he hit the ground. And now down in here we got some more of the colts. Like I say, they're trying to stay out of the wind a little bit. It is definitely cold. I'm switching pockets with my camera hands here. Trying to keep my fingers out of the warm. <laughs> We're diving right into the winter temperatures here in South Dakota. I think we were down to 15 or 16 or 17 degrees this morning. Pretty chilly. Just went kind of right off the deep end into it. Everybody, uh, well, I'm not going to say everybody, but <laughs> some people are looking at this little boy, too. That little guy right there, the stinger, he is going to be a pretty horse. I'm not sure what color he's going to end up, but... Uh, Boy, he's got a lot of chrome going on right now. Good looking little man. And this big sorrel. Like a big sorrel filly here. He's a real nice horse too. All these colts turned out really nice this year. She's not a real friendly one, but we'll work on that. <clears throat> There's my little friend, Itchy. Hi, Itchy. Yeah, instead of running away from me, she runs to me. So here you can see a little bit of snowflakes on her. We're getting a few flurries down here. Hopefully that's all we get, right? But they're all they're all good to go. They're all ready for it. The little stinger over there doesn't have a a whole coat on yet, but he's working on it and he's got some heavy hair on his back. 
which is a good thing. Of course, that's where the, if it snows at all, he'll get a little snow on his back of that heavy coat. Well, heavy hair on his back will help insulate him, keep him warm. And his mom will help keep him warm. We got Spike over here. That's the colt I helped deliver this spring. The first one. There's her mama. There's her mama. Funny how she has not let me touch her since, but she did let me help deliver that colt. <laughs> Just, <laughs> that's kind of mind-boggling, really. <laughs> but uh, sometimes they know they need help. I'll let you do that. Here's our sugar bear colt. Sugar bar. Sugar bear. Too bad you're not a... Too bad it wasn't a stud colt. We could have named him sugar bear. That could happen sometime, though. Never really been down in these bottoms too much. Always been up on the hills, so different terrain down in here it's nice with the trees and the brush they can get out of the wind stay a little warmer and there's <clears throat> pretty good grazing down in here too yet this grass doesn't look too bad some of it's quite green but they will be home within a week or so I'll be back in the lot at the ranch. Hey, little girl. Hi. Yeah, she's got to be automatic with me here over the last few weeks. Haven't you? Mm-hmm. Yep. We get them all gentled down and get them back there. We can get them halter broken and break them to lead. Maybe even, uh, Got a couple trailers sitting around, so maybe we can even get them broke the trailer real good before they head for their new homes. Hey, little feller. Where's your mama? She's not down here. Oh, you just bust right by him. If he don't want some pet, you'll take it, won't you? Yeah, you'll take it. That stinger. He's a cutie. He's going to be a cute horse there. Oh, does that feel good? Does that feel good? <laughs> Itchy. She's just going to be a great horse for somebody, aren't you? You are. I can tell. We'll be talking about Itchy for years to come, I think. Uh-huh. Well, you better mosey on with the rest of the kids there. They're moseying around. Planted some grass, green grass. There's some really green grass down in here yet. Which is nice. <clears throat> they need a lot of energy this time of year to stay warm, so. And they're smart, staying down in here in the bottom out of the wind. We got ducks flying around, and pretty soon we'll have a lot of geese moving through here. I'm sure they'll be moving down out of Alaska and Canada before long. Oh, over here's the uh, the bay stinger's mom. I was wondering where she was at. She was just behind me a little bit, I guess. There she is, the mama. Well, if she's had her first coat, she's uh, much mellower too, mellowed out. Which is a good thing, right? Uh, I used to be uh, a little bit worried about that horse, but she's okay. The one time she did walk up to me, I didn't know whether I should stand there or run. But <laughs> I stood my ground and she just came and checked me out, which is good.
try to get some of them tamed down a little bit more so uh, they can be worked with and dealt with when they need to be Well, the little snowflakes are picking up a little bit. Cold enough to snow, but the ground is still warm, so we're not, I don't expect to get anything that's gonna stick around. But everybody is here. Everybody looks good. <laughs> You're a little jumpy today, huh? Am I scaring you a little bit? Huh? Yeah, you're all right. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Oh, you got some of those burrs on you again. Can we get them off of there? Well, that one's kind of in there pretty good, ain't it? He doesn't exactly like it when I'm trying to work birds off him, but he puts up with it. There we go. Got that off of you. Otherwise, they, when they lay down and roll around a little bit with them, birds poke them. They don't feel very good. Don't feel very good. Everybody looks good though. Everybody's grazing. Back to normal. <laughs> Bigfoot, you're on this end now, huh? You're on this end. Hey, big girl. Hey, big girl. <laughs> And the grays, all the friendly horses are right here in a row, kinda. Hi. How are you ladies today, huh? What? Yeah, there's some ducks around, there's some deer around. It's harvest and it's... <laughs> well, this one kinda freaks you out because she'll come up and stick her butt right at you and you're thinking oh she's gonna try to kick me but really she just wants you to scratch her <laughs> don't you you just want some loving yeah you do well i better finish this video up and get on out of here i know uh over the weekend i had a lot of trouble getting the videos loaded up to youtube and one video took 25 hours to get it uploaded to YouTube. I don't know what the issue was, but it's uh, pretty crazy. It took me a couple of days to get it on there. <laughs> pretty ridiculous, really, but that's how it goes. We're, we don't have premium service out here, out in the great wide open where we are. We don't always get the the best of uh, technology here, but that's all right too. Got to trade that for the peace and quiet, tranquility, beautiful scenery, beautiful country, and beautiful horses and cows. Yeah, it's a great place. If you're a sportsman, this is a place you want to be. Hunting, fishing. Some of the best. Right, Billy? But, my fingers are cold. Everybody's checked out, so. Looks like the snow's picking up. 
can see it off in the distance. Looks a little foggy. That's, that's not fog, that's snow. The snow is moving in on us, so. I hear a hot cup of coffee calling my name somewhere. So from the hilltops of South Dakota, we're having a great day here. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. This has been the Herd Report.